Hey Whiskey Taste Buds, Adam here with another whiskey review for you. <sighs> yeah, rough humor. Anyway, yeah, here we are again. Um, the last couple of reviews I've done have been from uh, a virtual tasting that I did last month. Uh, and this one is two. Uh, so the first two were Akintosh and 12 year old. And then this is the next one, uh, the second one was the Balvini 12 year old double wood uh, and the third one was a cast strength peat monster but not from isla no 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 this one was from the heart of space side that's right it's a cast strength benrick heavily peated or peated non-chill filtered no color added matured in the heart of space side um yeah so this was part of the bc spirits release back in november and i picked it up and i hang, hung on to it for as long as i could um, but I, I really wanted to share it because uh, it's a wonderful peated whiskey not from isla this is peated cast strength batch number one and i believe there is a batch number two at least already <clears throat> um, yeah let's get into it then this one surprised a lot of people uh, find a lot of people in my whiskey club are peat monsters and they love the peat and they uh, they absolutely fell in love with this whiskey and and wanted to go out and get it um, it's bottled at 56% ABV. And the thing I like about Ben Riek is they do things the right way. Um, especially when it comes to these cast strength whiskeys. They even, I think they're even one of the few distilleries that still do floor maltings. Or at least partially, like some of their stuff is floor malted um, right at the distillery. Um, the comment I said earlier about matured in the heart of space side... Sounds like kind of a marketing ploy or whatever, slogan, if you will. Um, but it's something that needs to be uh, maybe touched on a little bit. Because I think what a lot of people don't realize is when you buy a whiskey from a, diff a certain region of Scotland, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that is where the whiskey sat in a barrel in a warehouse for its lifetime. Or for its maturation, I should say. Um, and that can be said for Isla whiskeys too. When you're buying some Isla whiskeys, <clears throat> they're actually distilled on the Isle of Isla, um, but then they're shipped to some main warehouse near Glasgow or Edinburgh and matured in these massive warehouses with all the other uh, uh, distilleries whiskeys that belong to that company. So. When you, you're not always getting a whiskey that's been matured in the region that it's from, which uh, can be a huge, can play, play a big part and be a huge difference in the outcome of the spirit. <clears throat> so, yeah, when uh, like when all whenever you can, or, like definitely try whiskeys that have been matured at the location. Just the exposure, especially on those island distilleries. Just the exposure those casks have to the weather, the elements, the the, the, the different ch the changes in temperature and all that stuff. The salt in the air from the ocean, all that stuff plays a huge part and it can actually uh, change the flavor or the, uh, the flavor profile of the whiskey. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. This one is a cast strength peated whiskey matured in Speyside. So... I wonder what this whiskey would taste like if they shipped those casks to Isla and matured them on Isla or or somewhere else in the world. Maybe Vancouver Island, who knows. Um, it'd be interesting to, to do an experiment. But anyway, here we go. I digress. Here we go. Oh. One of those whiskeys you can just nose for days. 
getting like burnt butterscotch apples. Strong white pepper on the nose. Earthiness, oak spices, and there's like a just subtle peat in there. Awesome nose. so good again um, like toasted toffee and apples super sweet <clears throat> and there's smoke definitely peat smoke but it's like a floral Heathery peat smoke. More like a Highland Park peat smoke than a than a Isla peat smoke. And my camera's doing all kinds of weird stuff today. Finish is lingering. <clears throat> Lingering peat and and like oat cakes. Delicious dram. Highly recommend picking one up, especially if you're a peat head like me. Um, again, the price point escapes me at the moment, but if you check out our website at bluecollarandscholar.com in the blog post, I, I will do a full review of this whiskey and I'll have the price in there that I paid. I think it was, um, yeah, I def it was definitely from the BC government liquor store. Um, <clears throat> yeah, highly recommend it. It's a, it's a really good whiskey. The only thing missing that I wish maybe they had was an age statement. Uh, it would be interesting to see what the age on this was. I think it's probably fairly young, which is okay. I'm fine with that. I think more distilleries need to just throw that number on the bottle. Doesn't matter. I'll drink a three-year-old. Um, if it's good whiskey, it's good whiskey. Um, but they decided not to put an age statement on, so that's their prerogative. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking out of a Victoria Highland Games Glencairn glass today. Um, just past middle of May there, the Victoria Day long weekend would have been uh, the Victoria Highland Games, which I go to every year or try to go to every year. And because of obviously uh, no gatherings, and no festivals this year it got cancelled or at least postponed um, and my heart goes out to all the organizers that uh, pour their blood sweat and tears into those games every year and make it one of the best in the world um, they'll be back no doubt either later this year or definitely next year um, I think when this COVID thing is over and done with. We all need to like jump on board and support all those little festivals and stuff like that because some of them are running on shoestring budgets. Maybe not necessarily Victoria Highland Games. They put on a pretty, like I said, world-class show, but a lot of festivals run on shoestring bu budgets and, and all volunteers that just do it because they love it. And, uh, get out there and support them and you might even actually have a good time while doing it they have whiskey tasting at Victoria Island Games by the way anyway um, that's my little spiel for the night <clears throat> I raise a glass Salams.